Hi there, Robin here from RTS Problems Testing Studio, and today this is a Shure SM58. As you can tell from everything around me, I deal with a lot of microphones, a lot of mixers, a lot of audio interfaces, all that kind of stuff. And if you're looking for a microphone that stands above and beyond everything else at a reasonable price, that's important, a reasonable price, an SM58 is going to be at that top end for live performances. Uh, again, you can use all kinds of different microphones and for sure there's lots of great options out there, but you have to kind of sort through it all. With the SM58, it's kind of a 40-year tradition. Uh, it's one of those, maybe you should own one. All the short models, the SM58, it's not the PGA. I have a PGA58 right here. This is made in China. The SM58 is actually made in Mexico. So they like to advertise as meat in North America, but it's, it is Mexico and Mexico is in North America. Now, another thing I want to show you, this is important. It's how it's packed. It, first of all, it does come in a lovely box and I don't normally unbox things, but this is different. This is not how you normally see things. They really pack it like a commercial product. So not like a consumer who look at all the fluff and fancy trees and all those other words to explain what's going on in a beautiful unboxing. This is what you get. So in this box, let me get that out of there, is a big book, big book, which is good. Amazing, right? We're talking about a microphone. Look at the size of this guide that comes with it. Beautiful warranty cards, international stuff, more safety stuff. So if you do find a piece of paper like this in yours, uh, that is not written in English and it says printed in the USA. Remember, this product gets sold all around the world. So yes, you will find stuff in the box written in Chinese for the Chinese market. Don't be confused. This is amazing. This is what everybody always wants. It's that nice peel sticker that uh, you get to put on all your equipment. You get one with that. Now that we've taken everything out of the box, so now we can see inside the box, that is just regular bubble wrap. That is how this microphone comes shipped to you. Not in some fancy velvet pouch with all that suede and everything going on and five layers of cardboard with this stacked right inside of it like these get things. No, no, that's it. Bubble wrap. And inside this bubble wrap, we're gonna find ourselves an SM58. There you go. That's what you're looking at. Now, of course, you can buy this multiple ways. can have an on-off switch on it, for example. And it can come with or without cables, depending on how you choose it. Ours actually comes with a Shure clip, mic clip for it. Velcro for cable management. A pencil case that you can also put your microphone in. Just like that. One short microphone pencil case. So we now have somewhere nice to put our stuff. This will be the rare occasion that I unpack something on this channel. Now, do I like it? I think it's awesome. I think it is the top, like I said at the beginning, the top of the microphones that are reasonably priced at the top end at the top end. After this, it becomes ridiculously priced. Even when you go to just going from here to the beta, you know, you're gonna add another 25, 50%. But the increases in quality and performance, though the writing is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, these manufacturers tell a story like you, oh, wow. The marketing behind it makes it seem like it's like, oh, five times better. It's small. They are better. They're better in certain ways. And those differences are very tiny. Once you get to the SM58, you've kind of hit that peak of performance, and then it's just squeaking out those little extra things or making the microphone a little bit more unique for you. That being said, let's try it out. Checking one, two, three. Check, check, one, two, one, two, three. So right now I have both my condenser on this side and my ribbon microphone on this side, which is why you normally hear me in stereo. And of course, now I'm holding the SM58. And now it's just the SM58. We'll double check that. We'll look over at our board. Yes, everything else has been muted and it's just the SM58 at this point. Again, it's a great microphone for singing, for talking, for doing any performances. If you're somebody who actually buys the equipment for other people to have for rentals, 
or it's going to be permanently set up somewhere. Now, remember, it's probably also the number one stolen microphone. People will buy microphones that look like this and still get them stolen, even though they paid a quarter of the price because they just look like an SM58. And I think a lot of people who steal it just don't realize that the price is actually quite reasonable. Uh, it's become much, much better than it used to be even five, 10 years ago. So if you're looking for performance in a microphone, an SM58 is definitely going to be the way it goes. Yes, we can talk all day about the cardio pattern and the dynamic microphone and the fact that where most microphones that are priced under this have a rigid mounting between the actual handle and the capsule that the microphone is in. This one doesn't. It has a rubber bushing there, and that really stops a lot of the noise. It also has a little bit more weight on it. I mean, that's for sure. Remember, if you watch anything, any music video or any concert from, you know, the 70s where you see the, the, the singer, you know, swinging the microphone, this is what he's swinging. He wasn't worried about it hitting the floor or hitting anything else around him. Probably the most dangerous thing is if he hit somebody else with it. But outside of that, that's pretty much it. Remember, they are made in North America. You shouldn't see one made in China because that's not where they're made. And uh, you make sure if you need a cable, get yourself a cable. Make sure if you're plugging it into a mixer, you get an XLR to XLR cable. If you're plugging it into a portable PA speaker, you can probably get away with having an XLR to a quarter inch, which would be either a balance or unbalance, a TS or a TRS. Your choice. It'll work. No worries. So there we go. If you're looking for performance, reliability, dependability, and it's in your price range, definitely get yourself a Shure SM58. Just don't get it stolen. Well, I'd like to say thanks for watching. I do hope this video helped you out a bit in your buying decision. I know we basically just talked about the microphone and we did try it out. And there's a little bit of comparisons that you can do between it. But it's just really my honest to goodness opinion uh, that if it's in your price range it's worth buying it's worth at least owning one of them that's for sure at one point in time in your music entertaining career so again i'd like to say thanks for watching hope that helped you out hope to see you in the next video bye for now